guess whose birthday it is? My birthday. Quarter of a century today. I know I didn't end the vlog yesterday and I apologize for that. Yesterday was kind of a an off day, I guess. We got here to Hormonkdo around 7, 7.30. We went grocery shopping. After we were done grocery shopping and we were at the checkout, we got a text from Steven saying that the baby has arrived. She arrived shortly after 7.30 last night. We still haven't seen her yet. We've been talking with mom and dad a couple times and they seem to be doing fine. Alicia's resting up. She didn't get much sleep last night. Baby's fine. She is fine. And dad is ecstatic. So, uh, right now, I am actually about to call the insurance people for the RV and hopefully going to get Thomas put on the insurance so he can finally start driving the RV. Finally. Finally. So we're going to do that. The rest of the day I've been uploading videos, editing. Thomas has another day off. It was kind of a, a surprise. He just found out about an hour or so ago that he has the rest of the day off today. and. Then we're going to have cake tonight. I made it. I just have to put the icing on it. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to go to the hospital or not. We don't have a car to go ourselves. So we're going to wait to see if Steven will come and pick us up and then bring us there for a few hours or something. Mm -hmm. We just got back from the hospital to visit our friends and their, their new little one. It was the first time for both Sam and I to hold a, a newborn, so that was a bit of an experience. It went really well. Neither of us dropped dropped <laughs> her, which is a good thing. That was the goal. That, yeah. <laughs> the goal was to not drop her, and we succeeded, so that was good. But it was a little scary at first. They're just so fragile and tiny. And... Oh, she was a little bean. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, everything went really well. Uh, everybody's doing really well now. <laughs> and right now, Sam is uh, preparing supper. We're having tacos tonight. And I think we might catch up on some of our vlogs, or try to catch up on some of them. We've fallen really far behind. Josh and Kaylee, we are so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but we will catch up for, I think, a few months. Like, at least a, well, a month and a half to maybe two months behind. So. Yeah. Since we started traveling full-time in the RV, we've seriously fallen behind on all of the vlogs that we watch. Because we, we follow a lot of people on YouTube, a lot of other full-timers, and we, we have watched them quite religiously <laughs> for, for quite some time. It's the data Just, thing, though. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just to sort of, you know, uh, keep ourselves, I guess, somewhat aware of what's going on in the RV community. And, but since we've been in our RV full time, uh, we, you know, like with our data plan, we don't have unlimited data. So we try to keep it, our data usage, strictly to work stuff, work related stuff. And that means that YouTube is only really is really only used just to upload our own vlog videos and so we haven't been able to watch anything we have access to internet right now uh wi-fi from our friend's place and so i think we're going to take that opportunity to try to catch up at least as much as we can on all of our vlogs so that's the plan for tonight sam's sister was supposed to come by for a visit but I think it's too late now it's not gonna happen I think we're supposed to meet with with her tomorrow instead for so, birthday cake for birthday cake because today was my birthday yay also birthday did you mention the the insurance thing earlier haven't no haven't okay. okay so right after uh right after Sam informed you guys of what was happening with the insurance she made the phone call to add me onto the the policy and so that went smoothly and now I'm able to drive the RV it's just a matter of convincing Sam to give the keys or to we'll give him, to, to hand over the keys we'll see. but I think I think the prospect of being able to play Pokemon Go 
all the time is is uh, a bit enticing to her. So that's that's something I can use to convince her to let me drive now. I don't play Pokemon Go, so that's I, Not that often, or very rarely anyway. I think I'm gonna call the video quits here. Uh, I wasn't feeling, well I was feeling fine earlier. My nose was stuffed up and I just thought it was allergies to dust or whatever because we did grab a bunch of books from the house in Saint Louis before we headed here and they were going away when we were in the car on the way to the hospital but then it started coming back again. And I didn't think much of it, and but then as we were leaving the hospital, my throat was starting to get a little scratchy, and uh, yeah, suddenly uh, it hit me full force. So I took some Buckley's, and I took some vitamin C, and I'm going to head to bed now and try to get a good night's rest, but I'm thinking what it is is that uh, two of Thomas's cousins were sick this past weekend, the ones that came down from the States. And I think I caught it from them. And I am really hoping I didn't pass anything on while I was at the hospital. I have my fingers crossed. And if it's not gone tomorrow and Alicia and Steven arrive home with the baby, I think I'm going to keep my distance until it goes away because the last thing I want is to get her sick and mom and dad sick. So, with that said, Thomas is going to stay up a little bit longer, but I'm going to end it here. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow.